go ahead and talk about a really good pocket knife here um, and go from there. I know it's really weird. I'm talking about pocket knives here, but it's just like I, I, I'm kind of falling into the rabbit hole. I just find it really interesting. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about why I think this knife is so well designed and um, kind of talk about why I think it's such a great deal. Um, but to give context, um, I'm realizing that when it comes to pocket knives that I don't really follow the crowd. Like, um, I really care about the way the knife actually looks in terms of design. And there's a lot of popular brands that I don't like. So, for example, a lot of Spyderco knives, they kind of look like this. They have like, they look like this with a big old circle. And to me, it's just really ugly. So, like, by default, I know this is really silly because you should always look at a knife in terms of like what it has to offer. But I just think they're hideous. Um, so I don't really use go with spider co a second brand is Benchmade. I look at all their knives and I think like almost all their knives are ugly and I think their colors are super saturated and disgusting looking. And I do think they sound, they look much better when you put like different scales on them, but I just don't think they look very good. Um, like for example, this is the Atomus, right? Their, their knife, it looks like that it just really looks like that is just God awful ugly. Another type of knife I really don't care about is buck knives. They look like this kind of kind of old fashioned. I don't really look them like them. Another knife is the Oppenel number eight. It's just like this. Basically, it's like like all wood here, <laughs> and then it just has like a little knife right here with a little locking mechanism. I really could care for. I don't really don't like the design of that. Right, and then I would say you know a lot of knives that are more tactical. They're just like it looks like it's gonna kill somebody. It's like you know the big big old knife like this, and then you know it's like that, and just that's not my bag. Right, so. Um, so this knife here was actually made by a really popular designer and this knife is actually $15, um, at like from, from this knife center and I actually bought two more of them because I'm just like, what the hell? That's such a great deal. And these knives are awesome. So this knife is the CRKT Piet. And just for context, this is how the knife looks like. And I've got, I've got three of them because I'm just like, shit, when they offer a knife like this for $15, what does that tell you? that it basically is, um, it's about to get discontinued, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this knife right here is it's, actually a virtual copy. It's pretty much uh, really, really similar to the Giant Mouse Tribeca. If you actually look, they're not quite the same, but it's pretty close. And it's because it's actually made from the same designer. And this, this knife is around $215. Now, that being said, the materials of this knife are night and day. But my rationale is this is a really good looking knife for $15. And it's pretty much got the same design profile. Like if you actually look at it, it's the same style. Like basically what they've got is, you know, they, they've got the little uh, drop point end right here. You know, they've got kind of comes like this and then really well designed. And Long story short, I think it's really like a really good looking knife. And um, again, I don't know much too much about knives. And just for context, my knife collection is kind of, I really do pay attention to how the knife looks. So um, so here's like one of the designs I really, really care about. This is um, the Waypoint. Um, and I really like the the way the, the knife looks, you know, and I really try to make sure that I was, there's a particular aesthetic to it. And it doesn't look like a Benchmade knife in terms of um, aesthetics or another one would be, let's say, um, this is the Chris Sabenza 31 small. Um, what really drew me in was the design of it. I think it's just, it's so beautiful in terms of like design and aesthetics. Um, another one is the quiet carry IQ, which I really like as well. Um, and again, made by the same company, um, really nice aesthetics on it. And then finally, um, I really was drawn to the Altus. I just think it just has like a really, really well designed kind of like, it's so simple, but I really like the way it looks. But the point I'm trying to say is this is a $15 knife that it doesn't look like a $15 knife. This looks like a much more expensive knife, even though the steel is not as good. Um, but I'm telling you, I bought like three boxes of these because I think, I think it's actually going to go away, you know, and I think it's worth checking out. So uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. All right, you guys have a great one. All right, bye.